What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mile High Rips. We have another Tops 2021 Series 1 rip for you guys tonight. As you can see in front of us, we have one blaster. Uh, this will be our second time opening this on the channel. And honestly, uh, this is going to be my second time opening it at all since it's come out. So uh, this thing has been extremely hard to find, uh, contrary to pop popular belief. Um, a lot of people thought that since the print run was so high, uh, it would be an easier product to find in retail stores, but I have been hounding uh, the Walmart and Target near me and absolutely have not been able to find any. Thankfully, uh, I did find somebody on Twitter that didn't have this too far above uh, retail price that was uh, able to ship me uh, a couple blasters in that fat pack. So this is the second of those two blasters that we got uh, from the previous video. Uh, obviously you guys saw that we had opened the, uh, blaster in a fat pack. So there's a lot of, uh, good rookies to chase in here. Um, as you can see behind us, a couple of the cards that we have pulled from our first rip of this, uh, from left to right, we have, you obviously need them in there. One of the best players in baseball, uh, right now. And the number one card in the set, we have Fernando Tatis. And then, uh, we have Casey Mize. Uh, Topps Chrome 1952 uh, insert as well as a 1952 Chrome rookie card of Dylan Carlson and then uh, probably the best base card you can find right now uh, at least for what eBay is saying this card is selling for like five to seven bucks right now raw so uh, the Tatis not too sure uh, it is again the number one card in the set but I don't know how much the value is on that one the Casey Mize is five to ten dollar card in the the dylan carlson i'm seeing anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks on uh, ebay so again baseball season is approaching so this stuff's only going to rise in value uh depending on how the players play uh but again i'm just so excited to rip into this see all the the cards for a second time myself i feel like pretty much ever since this vid or uh this product has come out uh, there's been nothing uh, on YouTube other than Topps 2021 Series 1. So, again, I'm excited to get into this. Hope you guys are too. If you guys have opened this, let me know what you guys have found so far. What's your best card? Uh, have you guys pulled an auto? Have you guys opened retail or hobby? You know, just let me know what you guys have found uh, out in the wild yourselves. So, again, with the blasters, we will have seven packs plus one uh, Top 70th Anniversary patch card. Uh, my first rip of this, I did pull a Nolan Ryan, so that wasn't too shabby, but, uh, here's the set list for what you guys can expect with that, uh, 70s commemorative patch card. So I'm excited to get into this. Hopefully you guys are too. Let's, uh, enough talking. Let's get ripping here. So again, we got 2021 top series one blaster box here i've watched a ton of videos on youtube it really does seem that the blasters hold equal if not better value than uh the hobby box itself so watch jab's family post a video earlier today he was pretty much he had one hobby box which was the equivalent to four blasters uh, as far as secondary price is concerned and honestly the, the retail the blasters were the better bet of the two so let's see what we get here. We do have, uh, again, my big chase card in this set is going to be the Casey Mize. I would say the Alec Baum is a close second. Dylan Carlson, he's an unreal prospect as well. But uh, it is all about this guy right now. So Casey Mize, future ace of the Tigers. Um, did get this one off of eBay right here. This has gone up to about a $50 card. I bought it off Twitter um a couple weeks ago is like 20 bucks pretty much felt like he was giving it away so again casey mize big future star with the tigers was very happy to find that uh 1952 chrome uh back there uh in our first rip of this and again guys i'm just excited to see what we have in here so we're gonna start off with the uh exclusive top 70th anniversary patch card my first one, I got a Nolan Ryan. I believe you can get a couple or an auto out of this or a numbered card, but we'll see what we get in this one. And it looks like we have a recently, another baseball legend that has gone too soon, Tom Seaver. 
Um, so we do have a, a 70th anniversary patch card of Tom Seaver in this blaster. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're only a couple bucks, maybe max, unless you get a, uh, a signed one or a numbered one. Or uh, honestly, like if I was to choose one out of the whole set list, I'd probably say I'd want a Mike Trout out of this. But Tom Seaver is not a bad one. Again, unfortunately, just gone too soon. So baseball world has lost a lot of legends recently. But let's get into it. Let's see what we have here. Again, Tops 2021 Series 1. We got 14 cards in the pack. We got seven packs per box. We are looking for some of the rookies. Um, hopefully, Casey Mize. Hopefully, an auto somewhere in here. But we have, to start us off, Max Scherzer. We have a World Series Championship team. Los Angeles Dodgers team card. Garrett Richards. Jacob deGrom, Jock Peterson, Joey Votto, Jordan Alvarez, second year card, future stars Nico Horner, ooh, love that one, let's go, Nate Pearson, flamethrower, uh, Young Gun with the Blue Jays. That is definitely a good card right there, the 1986 design. Uh, a lot of people aren't a good or uh, big fans of this, but I really am. I mean, that's a clean-looking card right there. So we got a Nate Pearson to start us off. We got a Jordan Alvarez. Brandon Nimmo. Adam Frazier. Charlie Morton. Matt Chapman. To finish that pack off so we'll take the nate pearson to start second pack here Let's see what we can find guys again let me know what you guys have found if any if you guys have bought this if you've been able to find it it has been tough for me to be able to find so i wanted to sit on this one for a video for you guys i've been itching to rip it but wanted to rip it on the channel so we have a jacob de Gram, future stars of brendan mckay Tyler Chatwood, former Rocky. Ronald Acuna Jr. It's a really cool card right there. You'd think that this one is a photo variation, but that's going to be his base card. So for all you MLB The Show fans, I'm anxious to see what his card looks like in the show. We have a rookie card of David Peterson with the Mets. Rookie of Anderson Tejada. Kiebert Ruiz. Don't sleep on him. He is a legit prospect with the Dodgers. Let's go! First, Ryan Mountcastle that I have pulled so far with the Gold Cup. Really, really nice card right there. I think, honestly, again, right now, just based on the print run as well as just the time of year that these have come out, this is only about a 5 to $10 card. But if Mountcastle has a repeat year like he did at the end of last season, uh, this thing should jump up a lot. So I'll definitely take a Mountcastle. We have former Tiger, 1952 Chrome, J.D. Martinez. Really miss him being on the Tigers. He was one of the best. You know, we really took him for granted. Dealt him for essentially nothing, just like the Tigers do. But watch out. Casey Mize on the rise. Buster Posey, 1952 insert. We have a Joaquin Soria. Randy Dobnak, the Uber driver. Luis Brinson, Luis Brinson. And Whit Merrifield. To finish that one off. All right, third pack here. I just love the design of this, guys. This is such a fun product to rip. Um, it's just so cool to see the new design and whatnot. So to start this one off, we got a Yuli Guriel, Ian Kennedy, Shane Bieber. Really want to stock up on as many PSA 10s of Shane Bieber rookie cards as I can. This guy is just going to do nothing but produce while he's in the league. So we have a Carlos Correa. Daniel Murphy just retired. Unfortunately, the Rocks did not want to re-sign DJ LeMahieu. For the same money that they offered Daniel Murphy two years for $24 million, they would have rather had Murphy, and he is now retired. So as a Rockies fan, that absolutely sucks. We have Brad Hand now on the Nationals. 
Nomar Mazzara, one of the newest Tigers. We have a blue Pete Alonzo. That is a sweet looking card. Color match with his team colors. We have a Jackie Robinson insert. And this one is going to be, I'm not sure what exact year this is from, but really cool insert right there with Jackie Robinson. I mean, obviously one of the most important players in the MLB history. So you can never go wrong pulling a, a Jackie Robinson. We have a Joey Bart 1952 insert rookie card. Love that one. Austin Riley, Michael Taylor, Gio Urshela, and lastly, a Francisco Mejia. All right, fourth pack here. Let's get something good. Let's get some ink. Come on now. All right, we have a Dodgers card, hands up, masks up. Mookie celebrates Cody. Watch out for these dudes potentially repeating. Just signed Trevor Bauer. The Padres are going to make him have a run for their money, though. But that's a really cool card right there. Mookie Betts and Cody Bellinger. We have a Manny Machado. Juan Soto, the cover boy. Not sure if that one's a photo variation. I uh, forget. I think I only pulled like one of his cards in the last one, so we will put that one inside. We have a Tigers team card. Shout out Motown, Motor City. Austin Hayes. Robbie Ray. Do it for the fans. Do it for the cutouts. I love this card. You got Luis Robert and Eloy Jimenez in this one. We have a backwards, looks like a gold parallel Chris Archer that one will be numbered 927 of 2021 so a really cool gold there of Chris Archer he is now back with the Rays looks like we have a rainbow foil of the twins here not numbered though we have a Nate Pearson 1952 insert Good rookie right there. Kyle Seeger. Max Stasi. Belly Bombs. And JD Davis. All right, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Josh Harrison. Jose Urania. Ian Anderson rookie card. He is definitely one to keep the cards of. Really good pitcher for the Braves. The Braves are just stacked, so watch out for them. David Dahl, former Rocky, now with the Rangers. Really wish the Rocks didn't do that to me. Uh, we have a Oliver Perez. Nico Goodrum. Marcel Ozuna. Anthony Santander. We have a Keston Hira, 1986. Josh Bell, 1952. Roman Quinn with the Phils. Tommy Edmond. And Joey Gallo. And lastly, Liam Hendricks. Now the closer with the White Sox. All right, two more packs. Come on, show us some ink. Show us some ink. Really hope I'm able to find some of this in stores. If not, then hopefully somebody is going to be able to sell at a reasonable price on Twitter. It just sucks, man, like not being able to pick up cards at retail price anymore. Like what a freaking bummer. Like every time I go to Target and Walmart, they're just gone as if it was a ghost town and they were gone 20 years ago. So, all right, this one, Wade LeBlanc. Just love the design of these though. We have a San Diego Padres team card. Watch out for these guys. They're going to give the Dodgers a run for their money, literally, paying Trevor Bauer what they did. Trevor Williams, Hunter Renfro, Hunter Harvey, Danny Mendick, Mike Clevenger, unfortunately out for the year with the Padres, with Tommy John. But again, when they get him back with all the additions they've had this offseason, watch out for the Padres, if not for this year. Alex Bregman, shout out my buddy Andrew Mulberger. 
hometown Albuquerque kid. Ronald Guzman. Nolan Arenado. I get depressed every time I get one of his cards now, but a 1952 Nolan Arenado. Colin Moran. Kenta Maeda. Omar Narvaez. And Orlando Arcia to finish that pack off. So, last pack here. Come on, give us some magic. Last pack, Mojo. Come on, baby. Show us something thick. Won't spoil it, though. All right, we have Griffin Canning, the Angels, Miami Marlins team card, Jake Arrieta, AJ Pollock, future stars of Jesus Luzardo, Christian Javier, that is a good rookie. Again, don't sleep on him. The Astros, we know they're going to be good as much as we all hate for them to be good. We know they're going to be good. And he is a future ace with that staff. So watch out for Christian Javier and, unfortunately, the Astros. we got a Spencer Howard, Albert Abreu, rookie card. Here's a nice insert of George Brett. Not exactly sure what years these are. You guys let me know. But a cool George Brett insert. Javi Baez, 1952. We have an Evan White rookie card. Had a pretty solid season last year with the Mariners, and we can call it a COVID year. But watch out for Evan White. He's got some power. He's definitely a name to keep your eyes on. Jesse Winker, Guile's favorite guy. We have a Luis Garcia rookie card. And lastly, a Carter Keeboom. So let's go through these guys just to kind of show you what the uh, the highlights were here for us. We have the Nate Pearson, Luis Garcia. Get Jesse Winker out of there. We have an Evan White rookie card. Albert Abreu, Spencer Howard, Christian Javier. Kesson Hira, 86, Ian Anderson rookie, Nate Pearson rookie card, we have the gold Chris Archer, Joey Bart, 52 rookie card, Pete Alonzo blue parallel, Ryan Mountcastle, and lastly, a Kiebert Ruiz. So... Thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. We are going to, after this, rip open some of the Chrome update that we still have. Uh, definitely excited to get into that stuff. So cannot wait for baseball season to start again. It's going to be a little bit of a bummer because all of the football cards that we've all been stacking up on have been uh, probably they will be losing value as the baseball season approaches. But for all you baseball card collectors, Get those cards ready. Uh, if you are ready to unload them, now is the time uh, with spring training starting today. So uh, pitchers and catchers reported today to spring training. I am so stoked to see what that has in store. Um, and uh, again, Tops 2021 Series 1 uh, is a fun, fun rip. If you guys can find it, good luck. Let me know what you guys find. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to open a ton more. Going to find a hobby box soon from Mike Stadium Sports Cards and uh, bring that to the channel. So let us know what your guys' favorite card was of the uh, video. And again, let me know what you guys have found in this product so far. So Mile High Rips, as always, says thank you. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.